Oh, good morning, YouTube. I am uh, up for a dirt ride, finally. Get away from the, the heat that we've been having. We had a heat wave. Uh, temperatures were in the mid-40s. Just excruciating. Anyway, obviously I wasn't doing much riding. So, I'm making up for it now. I thought while I'm riding, may as well chat a little bit more about this uh, CRF 300L. A lot of uh, a lot of videos on it. A lot of people talking about it. People are finally getting theirs after waiting for many months. And uh, there are the usual concerns. One of the common ones on this one, apart from. Apart from the obvious, the soft suspension and all that, that's kind of been beaten to death, by me included. One of the other things that I hear people say quite a bit is uh, they're concerned about the rattle in the engine. Well, I think I can dispel most of that uh, concern because the 250L had the same thing, you know for a lot of people, not for everyone, and not everyone has a rattle in this engine either. And the rattle I'm talking about is a rattle at uh, steady throttle. If you're city riding maybe and uh, you're cruising along at uh, 30, 40 mile an hour, you know, that type of thing, 50, 60 kph on steady throttle. And then you'll hear that rattle, and then if you throttle on, the rattle goes, disappears. And if that's the rattle that uh, concerns you, well, you don't have to be concerned unless it's extreme. These bikes are, um, they're designed that way, you could say. Could Honda have made it better and uh, made that smoother? Probably, but they don't, so. The thing is, it's the cam chain tensioner. Honda calls it the cam chain lifter assembly. And it, uh, it allows a little bit um, more slop in the cam chain than, than you would like. And that's what you're hearing. It's not gonna hurt your bike. It really isn't, unless it's extreme, like I say. And I think I'm qualified to say that because I had to have three OEM cam chain tensioners replaced on my CRF 250L because they failed completely. And I think on mine it was, I don't know, that I don't know of any other person that had the extreme problems with it that I did. And I think on mine it was because of a flaw in the engine casing that that caused the problem no matter what the um, OEM cam chain tensioner was if you installed it on mine it would fail and so I think it was the casing where it was installed that was really at fault a little flaw anyway that aside point is I had a lot of experience with that issue and dealt with Honda quite a bit on it and and it caused a, a hard slap of the cam chain on the, uh, I suspect, the casing. And, uh, and then a sharp knock you could feel in, the, feel in the bars. Yeah, it was not too nice. On most bikes, like 90% of them, that uh, rattle that you're hearing is not going not gonna to be an issue. It'll rattle like that for till the day the, the bike dies. So don't be too concerned about it. Unless, like I say, the rattle becomes like extreme and then you'd know it. Or if you hear those sounds that uh, mine eventually made, then you, you can't miss it. So hopefully I have dispelled some of those fears regarding that. Just enjoy the bike and ignore all the 
all the little normal noises like that. That's the thing about this bike. It's um, it's a joy. I mean, it is, isn't it? Whenever you get these small displacement bikes, and especially in a dual sport, it's it's just a pleasure. Big, powerful bikes, you know, they they're serious, and you feel more serious when you're riding them. On this one, you can um, you can just hang loose. Yeah, I don't feel any need to fool around with the gearing on this one. I think the uh, the way Honda has set it up on the gearing is is pretty acceptable. Good combination of of um, performance on the on the pavement and off road. So this is, um, I don't know, this is, to me, this is what this bike is uh, really good at, you know, just puttering around up here, eh? Just getting to these uh, out of the way places, high places, no matter the roughness of the route. Obviously, as you can see, I'm taking it very, very slowly, easily. This type of route, you know, and this type of activity, just exploring, eh? It, it, this bike is great at that. It's a, it's a pretty awesome dual sport. You know, it's a, I think it's a true dual sport. It really is. Yeah, you really get, um, you really feel the extra torque that this one has, you know, going up that little section there. I'm in second gear and on the old 250. It would have bogged out in uh, a couple places there. So here we are on top. Let's find a place to pull over. Got to watch for glass here. All these high places with a viewpoint and a road to get to them end up as party places for some people. Well, there's the view. Pretty awesome. I'll tell you what, I made a mistake by, I had the bike pulled up over here and uh, holy crap, there, I suddenly looked down and there's hundreds, hundreds of nails and short tacks and glass. I couldn't see the nails. I thought I was avoiding the glass, but oh shit. So I, uh, I just uh, walked it out of there so as not to put any weight on it. Hopefully I didn't pick anything up. So as you can see, I got a little tail bag there. It's uh, made by Dirt Bike Gear and it's just a a real simple small bag that's all I need and those straps there they were supposed to be compression straps over the top but and then uh, they want you to drill through a plastic plate in there in the bottom and put a, um, a holder through there and then bolt to your fender but I didn't want to do that I just reversed the straps and clipped it underneath and it's it's plenty stable it holds everything I want, you know, some, uh, I got a small, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, Motion Pro 
metric tool set in the toolbox and that's pretty comprehensive you know and then I've got some tire irons and things like that in the um, bag I don't have a tube in there yet because I haven't bought one yet and some uh, medical stuff first aid and uh, water bottle and my seal mate strip in case the forks start leaking and if you don't know about that, by the way, because I see a lot of people who, you know, comment on the net and they say, oh, my God, my forks are leaking and this bike is only, you know, a couple thousand kilometers on it. What do I do? Got to take it back to Honda. Um, forks leak most of the time because you get some dirt under the seal there, you know, from riding in the dirt. And uh, that little bit of dirt, if it gets under the seal, forms a little opening for the oil under pressure to come out. That's your leak. So... You, uh, you use the Sealmate strip. You can look up how to use it. Go to sealmate.com, I think it is. Anyway, it's pretty simple. Just clean it up and then, and then uh, put the seal strip in there and twist it around a couple times and pull it out. Clean it up again. Bounce your forks half a dozen hard times. And uh, nine times out of ten, leak is solved. Anyway, I'm going to go back down. I have about 600 kilometers, 650 kilometers on it now, and uh, I really enjoy it. I haven't um, haven't had anything really uh, serious to complain about except the shock. That's not really serious. That's just that's just my preference. Would be for something better, but uh, a little disappointment. But. Nothing serious. Yeah, it's a wonderful bike. Yeah, it performs well, handles well, as far as I can tell. Definitely answers uh, answers all the uh, well, most of the issues that the 250 had that everyone complained about, mainly lack of power and being a little heavy, too heavy. So this one's lighter, more power, and that is awesome. I don't think I've uh, got anything more here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna end the video. And uh, got any comments? Please uh, put them below. Like and subscribe it would be awesome if you did. That helps me out a lot. You take care. You ride safe and uh, have a blast.